KTAB, this is your Weather Authority forecast. Welcome back. Here's a look at our Texas satellite and radar. Now, if you're taking a look at the Lone Star State, there's really not much going on across our entire area. Now, we do have that dry line. It is pushed a little far off to the east this afternoon, just on the outskirts of our area, but still really isn't going to have a factor across our area. Now, we have a frontal system just to our north. This will bring some strong to severe storms to our north and to our northeast. KTAP Station Skycam, though, locally, clear skies. It's going to be hard to find any clouds out there. If any at all, it will be down to our south and to our east. But Max Live Radar showing exactly what I just said. Not a cloud in the sky across our area, so some good news there. However, it does correlate to those very warm temperatures. We have dropped a degree. We were 100 degrees. Now, at about 99, we'll gradually cool down as we head into the later evening hours. 26% humidity, so a lot of dry air still in place. But south winds at 20 miles an hour, keeping it somewhat cooler than what it feels like out there. 103 for Stanford, 104 in Knox City. But as we head off to the west, still sitting at 107 for Dayton, down to our south, 103 in Ballinger. The cooler spots are going to be down to our southeast and, and throughout the heartland at 95 degrees for Comanche. Winds are still coming out of the south. 15 to 20 miles an hour gusty winds will continue as we head into the later part of this evening and throughout the overnight hours. But the temperatures are something we're going to continue to hold on to. Heat advisory throughout Friday afternoon for Knox to Haskell to Throckmorton, Stevens, Coleman, Coke, Mitchell, Scurry, all in between and including Taylor County. Very warm conditions, 103 to 106 is expected for the next day or so. Dangerously hot Thursday and Friday. 105 will be the tail end of that warming trend, so you're going to have to find a way to stay cool. Saturday, finally, we'll have that cold front coming through. We'll call it a cool front, really not going to be a cold front. It'll knock us down several degrees for Sunday at about 93 degrees, but we're gradually warm back up Monday and into next week as well. Futurecast showing a few strong to severe storms, mainly north of Amarillo, the Texas Panhandle, throughout Oklahoma and Kansas. This will continue to move in the east, northeast direction. Very strong to severe storms throughout Oklahoma as we head into the overnight hours. Now, the dry line is still not going to move too far out to the west, and it's going to stay relatively close to the area, bringing those humid conditions for your Thursday morning as we put this in motion for the afternoon. Hot and windy conditions, and as I said before, at the 5 o'clock newscast, a blow dryer right over west central Texas is exactly how it will feel. For tonight, mild and muggy conditions. Winds are going to stay brisk out of the South, with those wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour at times, we'll see temperatures into the mid-70s for the most part. For tomorrow, a heat advisory will be in effect. Gusty southwest winds, 15 to 20 miles an hour, 104. That's going to be brutal out there. Make sure to stay cool as much as possible. For tonight, for Brown, in the heartland, mostly clear skies, but breezy overnight with those wind gusts up to 25 miles an hour at times. A bit cooler at 72 there throughout the heartland. For tomorrow, high thin clouds, and you'll finally reach those triple digits. Unfortunately, hot and windy conditions will likely persist there as well. Here's what we're looking at for the next several days. We'll have that heat advisory for the tomorrow afternoon and Friday afternoon as we end the week. A little bit cooler, but not that much cooler as we head into the weekend. We'll finally get a bit of a relief Saturday evening and into Sunday. 93 degrees and the pool is going to be very warm. Yes, it will, uh, but hopefully still refreshing because, you know, at this point we'll have to take any kind of relief we can get. Temperatures in the 90s, Usually we wish they'd hold on a little bit longer, but uh, if we're having to deal with triple digit heat, we'll take any kind of cool front we can get. You're right, we'll take what we can get. Yes. Hey, something to get you excited about for though is KTAB on the road returning this year, an annual tradition happening soon this summer, Noel. And it's a tour of the big country bringing our newscast on the road to a town near you. So mark your calendars for the week of July 9th through the 13th on Monday. The 9th, the team will be in Clyde, Tuesday the 10th in Haskell, Wednesday the 11th in Stanford, Thursday the 12th in Coleman, and finally topping it out on Friday the 13th in Buffalo Gap. It is